What's going on, Shiny Hunters? It's the Shiny Oreo coming back at you again today with yet another YouTube video. And in today's video, you guys want cheat codes? I'm going to give you cheat codes. As always, if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you hit that like button. It definitely helps out the YouTube algorithm. Makes up for all those, you know, dislikes that we get on the video for some random reason. Also, sub to the channel. Turn on the notifications to know when my videos go up for you. And comment in the comment section. Down below. If you guys want to see more cheat codes. <laughs> I know I do. Anyways, with that being said, let's get into the video today. We do have a list of cheat codes like we did in the last video. This one is for a emulator game and it's called uh, The Last Fire Red. Well, I couldn't even pronounce that for a second. The Last Fire Red is the uh, tutorial video we're gonna do for the cheat codes. It's gonna be the exact same as the last video that I did for Radical Red. This game, I am actually enjoying a little bit more than Radical Red because it matches the current level of your Pokemon. So whatever level your highest Pokemon is, say it's level 24, and your other ones are like 22, 23, every single trainer you encounter is gonna have Pokemon level 24. So this one also has Mega Evolutions. It has uh, Z moves. You know, it's got a different map. We can show the map around. Actually, let's show the map around real quick before we get started. <clears throat> so, like, we're in Pewter City right now. And as you can see, Pewter City looks completely different. Now, looks, look at, look at the scenery. <laughs> Excuse me. You know, we've got wormholes that we can access later in the game. That's going to be fun to do. You know, the gym's right here. I'm actually playing a playthrough of this on uh, twitch.tv forward slash the shiny Oreo. So you guys feel free to check me out there. As you can see, there's all kinds of different scenery here. Let's go down real quick to the route that we just came out of. This is kind of what the Viridian Forest look like. Completely, completely different. So like there is a lot of different scenery. Everything else is pretty much the same. The scenery is definitely different. The encounters you get with wild Pokemon are definitely different. Like it's not a randomizer. It's got a set encounter rate based off of the area you're in. So like in this area, every playthrough is always going to have a bundle B right there. You know, we got ourselves, you know, uh, Greninja evolution line going right here let's run into another pokemon you know there's starters in the early um areas so keep that in mind there's a lot to this game and i'm highly interested to play it there's three different rivals uh team rocket team magma team aqua are all in this game and they're all working together to take over so that's interesting so I do highly, highly recommend giving this game a try if you love emulator games. I'll send a link in the description down below for you guys so you guys can check, check it out. But let's get back into the cheats like I promised. So right here, we've already got some cheats in here. I'm going to put another cheat in here just to show you guys how it works. Uh, what cheat do I want to put in here? That's the real question. Let's put in Max Revives just to do it. So go to Code Breaker, put in Max Revive. Go to Code Description. We're gonna put the code in right here. And paste, and then the last four. And all of this will be in, linked in the description down below like last time. Uh, where are my max revives at? There they are. 0019. Go to OK. So, 
we hit go OK here. Press B up like last time. Go to the Pokemart, go to buy. And the Pokeball turns into max revives for 4,000, right? We still have the... <clears throat> we still have the, uh, the cheat for the $1 Pokemart. Right there. So B up. Go to buy. Now your max revives are only a dollar. Sell them for 2,000 per max revive. Get lots of money that way. Good to go. Now, they also have the master ball cheat in this as well. So if you leave the one dollar on, go to, do I have master balls in here? I do not, but I'll link the master balls in the description as well. You know, rare candies. We can check out rare candies. Buy rare candies for a dollar. I'll just buy 10 of them just to do it. Bam. Go into your bag. Go check out the rare candies. We're going to use it. We're going to make sure everybody's 24. Round? No, we don't want to learn round. And 24. We're going to get this one to 24 as well. Now all of my three starters are all 24. So yep, that's how you use all those. Go back into your cheats. Turn those off. We'll turn on walk through walls just like last on uh, the last video. And you can walk through walls. Can't walk through people. <laughs> Some of the walls are like fishy as far as walking through. I think you have to hit it at an angle, like at the right angle. This one isn't as as good as the last one for some reason. Up oh, there we go. Now we can walk through the grass. This one isn't as good as the last walk through walls glitch, but as you can see, it definitely still works. Let's go all the way down. Oh, there's a Pokeball here. TM70, I'll take it. At least can 10 kinds. Oh, okay, so I need 10 kinds for that TM. Not a big deal. Found an elixir. Found a paralyzed heal. And all of this we did just by walking through some walls. Now we're in Viridian City. This is kind of how Viridian City looks. Kind of looks dope to me. I'm highly enjoying this game, so I, I definitely... You guys should definitely check it out. Go to... Shiny Encounters. So now we can't walk through walls anymore. But... We go through the grass. And voila, we got a low eradicate that's shiny. Now keep in mind when you catch these Pokemon, the just like in the last uh, one, the names are uh, different. So definitely, definitely keep that in mind. Throw an Ultra Ball at it real fast. Bam, we got ourselves an Alolan eradicate, a shiny Alolan eradicate. At that. No, we're not going to nickname it. And it gave it a different name. I wonder if there's a nicknamer later in the game to where you can uh, fix their names. We got a Stuffle that's shiny. Why don't we just catch that too? Because, you know, it's a shiny Pokemon. That's why. And throw another Ultra Ball at it. 
Oh, it popped right out. Wow. I'm definitely not throwing a Master Ball at it. Oh my god, this Stuffle does not want to stay. It did three damage? Wow. We may have to think about adding this Pokemon to the team. You gonna stay on the ball? There we go. And the name, of course, was changed. We'll run into one more just to show you guys that the code is, stays on. And yeah, so there's the shiny encounter code. Let's see, what else, what else did I have on here for you guys today? There are many, many other codes though, so guys, definitely keep that in mind. Um, we got quick balls. We'll go buy some quick balls at the Pokemart real fast. If we can find the Pokemart. There it is. And for kicks and giggles, we'll buy 99 of them. And yeah, there you go. I'm going to end the video right here. Like I said, I will have all the codes in the description for you guys like last time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the codes for Pokemon The Last Fire Red. I'm going to get out of here. Have yourselves a fantastic day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.